good y'all this is your boy jack back again with another video today we're going to be doing a quick unboxing and first impressions of this wall clock that i got off of uh, amazon i'll leave the link in the description i do not know the brand but uh you know we're gonna take a look uh, just like in all my other videos please like share subscribe it really really helps out the channel and uh you know let's kind of go ahead and get into it you know what i'm saying i don't think this is going to be too uh deep or anything like that as you can see, some of the uh, automatic little information, you know, a little bit indoor temperature, the, the, obviously the time, set alarms, calendar, you know, you know it's pretty good. So let's uh, check it out and see what we get in the box. <clears throat> All right, simple, straight to the point. No instructions up in there. All right, as you can see, this is a plug-in right here. You got a USB, here's a little barrel plug. It does come with a remote, which I do like. You can sit in the bed and adjust the brightness, uh, set the time, all that other stuff. So this is, this is one thing I was definitely looking for when I purchased another digital clock. I do have another one. Here's a <clears throat> little information. Oh, okay, so for mounting. Oh, okay, that's pretty dope. Put it up on the wall and then uh, you can use that to actually mount it. Okay, here's um, some mounting pins. And here is the device itself. Uh, some more. Oh, okay, here's the actual uh, book right here. Uh, it's in a few different languages. So, you know, you kind of go ahead and do what you got to do. I'll leave it off the screen. So if you want to pause it, you know, do a little screenshot. Here's on the side. Okay, if you lost your manual, there you go. You know man of the people <laughs> and now the star of the show here we go here is the uh device itself look like a little ventilation on the back side right here is the set and i'm assuming that you hold this and then you can kind of go for what you know alarm um it does have a battery uh portion right here which is very very easy to get to something like a some like my other clocks uh this does take a triple a battery so if you are curious about that particular thing, and I'm assuming this will do a whole little battery backup power situation. There you go. Here's some of the other angles right there. And uh, here's the little mounting situation. I'm assuming this cable goes up in here. And where is the barrel? Did I miss it? Is it on the bottom? Okay. All right. I don't see where you... Actually, ah, duh, it says it right here, DC5A. <laughs> okay, this is where you plug it in, runs in right here, and go right there. So, uh, yeah, and this is a uh, little first little preview. Let's go ahead and uh, throw some juice on this whole thing. Bear with me for a minute. Talking about your shell. Shout out to the homie. All right, we back. I'm going to turn this uh, down a little bit so you guys can actually see it. Um, pretty cool. It has a little power button. So if you want to turn it completely off, you can. And it'll keep the same time on there. Um, yeah, man. And then you can uh, see, I'm going to turn this back on real quick just so you guys can see the uh, the control layout and things like that. Uh, right here, the, I'm assuming this is the the brightness. So, so here are the little brightness levels and, and, and things like that. I think it said it had 10, so I'm assuming... You go from here, this is the levels. Oh, okay, and this is how you go down. So with the minus button, right here, you guys can't really see. But that's the lowest it goes. And then as you can see, it just gradually goes up. I like having the remote so you don't have to fiddle around with the buttons or anything like that. Um, I'm assuming, uh, let's see, this is the, okay, my bad. That's the timer thing. This is the, this is the alarm. So if you have an alarm set, you can see the alarm. You can have two alarms. So yeah, I mean, uh, pretty pretty cool. I like it. Hopefully you guys like it. If you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, uh, just leave them in the comments. And you know, after I get done playing around with it a little bit more, I'll be able to answer some of these questions if you guys have any. But again, uh, you know, I ain't gonna keep you guys here too long. You guys take care of each other. Peace.